Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we are talking about OpenMatch. What is OpenMatch? It is a newly released, in development, open source project for matchmaking. Basically, it is an open source matchmaker. And this is from Google and Unity. Those two teamed up sometime back in, I believe it was July. Yep, July 27th. They basically announced that Unity would be using Google's cloud services for various networking things in Unity. And this is kind of the first fruits of that marriage. So now we've got Open Match. Now, Open Match is a flexible and accessible matchmaking for games, as the title says it all. Now, what exactly is a matchmaker? Well, if you've got a multiplayer game and you don't have dedicated servers, you got a problem. So, game A can talk to game B no problem. The peer-to-peer -peer networking is totally quite easy. Most game engines abstract away the networking layer, no problems at all. So basically, as soon as computer A is aware of computer B, like computer A has computer B's IP address and the port to communicate on, you're good to go. Now the chicken and egg problem is, where does it get that IP address? And that's where a matchmaker comes in. And this is one of those areas where you need to have an infrastructure in place, quite bl point blank. Uh, you need to have a central location that all of your games go to to say, okay, who can I play with? And that's the matchmaker. But most small developers aren't going to want to have a dedicated server running all the time just so people can play their game online. It's got maintenance nightmare, support nightmare, you name it. The kicker is there have been tons of companies that have provided this functionality in the past in some manner where you pay a flat fee or you know some kind of cloud service for doing networking and a lot of them have gone out of business. So that means that say you developed a game four or five years ago, runs on Android or iOS, and that company is now gone, your game doesn't have network anymore. Obviously, that is a bit annoying. So that's where matchmakers come in, and that is what Google are offering here. Open Match is, again, an open source implementation of a matchmaker. And what exactly does it provide? Well, you get right here. Here's the detail. Extensibility, custom match logic available for simple player-based matchmaking on latency, wait time, and arbitrary skill rating. So basically, it can do things like, how long have you been waiting for a game? Where are you physically located? And how good are you at this game? And so you can have things like ELO matchmaking in games, so where you pair people together based off their skill level or something like, I don't know, their experience level in the game. So you can match people together based off of their ability, or you can just do it based off of where they actually are and how good their ping is to each other or to their server. Um, it runs on Kubernetes. I'm maybe not saying that right. You can deploy it in any public cloud, local data center, or even a local workstation. My understanding is this just produces Linux Docker files. So uh, any Docker infrastructure should be able to run the end result. So if you want to run your server on Amazon's cloud, you can. Microsoft Azure, you can. Your own server, you can. Google Cloud, well, they would love that. Of course, you can. And from the sounds of it, it looks like Unity will be also offering this as a paid service. We'll get back to that in a second. And then scalability. And this is one of those things. When you make a game, then you publish it, who knows if you just created the next PUBG. The problem is if you did create the next PUBG and you have 10 million users trying to connect, your homegrown matchmaking solution probably just crapped the bed. That's where scalability comes in. You pay for what you need or you only use what you need. And there's where the cloud really shines, where things like um, Amazon Web Services or Azure, those are things that have been kind of a selling point there. As it gets more popular, it scales up. Well, that's also going to be present in this matchmaker. So this is an open source project. There is a GitHub repository. You can see it right here. I'm in the documentation, but... All right, here, we'll go back to the root. Uh, it is, interestingly enough, or disappointingly enough, or in, hey, we'll go with a combination of those two. It's written in Go. Now, Go is a programming language in use at Google. Uh, that might be it. It's not in the most popular language out there. So finding people to actually run this thing or extend it or embed it that already know Go could be a bit of a challenge. I kind of wish they would use you know, slightly more mainstream language because finding Go developers could be a bit of a trick. Now, I may be wrong. There might be thousands of you out there. If that's the case, I'm probably going to hear about it in the comments down below. But the choice of Go as the programming language is definitely, definitely going to present some challenges. But you can see here uh, kind of a bit of an overview of how the technology works. I think probably the key thing that I should point out is this guy right here. This is currently alpha, subject to change. It is not ready to be used in production. In fact, there are no instructions on how to use this as an end user yet. So this is one of those things that will be coming down the road. But we'll go on back here and let's talk about that down the road a bit. Unity will be basing future matchmaking technology on open match. So Unity customers will be able to more easily take advantage of its features such as um, 
thorough or through such as through oh, through integration with unity provided servers that one's kind of interesting so i got a feeling unity is going to be hosting their own matchmaking services based on open match uh, but at the end of the day open source project uh it's under the apache 2 license so theoretically as long as you can get a docker image up and running on a linux server you can use this however you want. Uh, there's not, again, a lot of documentation for actually how you use this yet. Um, you know, there's an overview of uh, the terminology and the technology and the APIs, etc. but there's no real uh, here how to go about using things. Uh, and then the developer guide is much more about how to actually build the product than how to actually use it. So um, really, this is not ready as a matchmaking service for um, you know, an end user, an end user being a game developer that wants to create a matchmaking server. And the technology just isn't there yet. It's it's too early for that. And it looks like if you're a Unity developer, this is going to be more turnkey, something that um, Unity will provide <coughs> outright for you. But if you're looking for a matchmaking solution for <coughs> CryEngine, Unreal Engine, Godot, your own homebrewed engine, this could be a good option. Because the reality is at the end of the day, if you want to provide matchmaking, you need to have some kind of a server in the cloud to answer those requests where people will want to create a new game. And using a third party closed source solution, we've already seen that that can bite you in the ass when they go out of business. But maintaining your own server yourself, especially if you're a one or two man development team, isn't appealing either. So that's why something like Open Match can be so interesting to people at the end of the day. So that's why I think it's also worth keeping an eye on. Uh, it was just recently announced. It was announced a couple of days ago. Uh, but it's, it's one of those things that it, it could be the future. It's just not the present. And again, I kind of wish they didn't use the Go programming language. Anyways, that is it. That is Open Match, an open source matchmaking solution that is currently in alpha, developed in Go. Let me know what you think about it. Do you need a matchmaker? Are you using a matchmaker? Did you roll your own? Did you use one of these third-party services? Or, you know... Is it some kind of thing that's provided directly in your engine itself? I'd be interested in hearing how you're actually solving this problem today, or if this looks appealing for your use in the future. All right, that's it. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.